and welcome back to Shelby the McCaw's YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoy the content you find here. If you do enjoy it, please consider subscribing because we are working towards building up Shelby's YouTube presence. And we are at this point in time headed towards 70,000 followers on TikTok. So yeah, how do you feel about that? In today's video, I'm going to be going through some questions that you guys have asked me over on Instagram. Um, so we're going to do a bit of a Q&A and then we're also going to be doing a parrot toy unboxing. We did a bit of a <sighs> splurge on Northern Parrot's website and bought Shelby a whole load of new toys. She was so desperate for new toys. Um, so I'm really excited to show you those. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so one of the first questions asked by Rachel Davies over on Instagram was what resources did you use to learn slash teach free flight to Shelby? Um, that's a really good question. One of the first things I did was research McCaws generally for 10 years before I actually got Shelby. What's going on here now? I didn't go into this lightly. So I did 10 years of research before deciding that now was the right time to get McCaw. And then I researched free flight and I came across bird tricks on YouTube. Bird Tricks are amazing, they're massive free flight advocates and their tips on free flight training are second to none. Um, we haven't actually done a free flight course with them but we have, I did learn a lot from them. So as well as Bird Tricks, I also did my own sort of research, I also learnt about the psychology of parrots which is really bizarre but it's really really important so learning about what motivates them how to increase motivation, that sort of thing. So we did tons and tons of research, mainly through bird tricks, but also some psychology resources and books um, and lots of uh, like YouTube hunting. Another question from Fanimal Central HD, which is uh, Rebecca, hello. Um, she said, what avian vet do you recommend to people? Um, so Shelby is actually registered with Scott Veterinary Clinic in Bedford, which they're exotic animals uh, specialists and they have an avian vet within there. So that is who Shelby uses currently. Um, as for actual avian vets, we're not aware of any that are anywhere near where we are. So um, it has been a bit of an issue trying to find the perfect vet for her and we are willing to travel. Um, so, but currently Bedford is where we're at at the moment. Uh, S -S Kelly, uh, Kelly H Lovebird on Instagram has said, do your bird's bites hurt? Yes, they do. <laughs> Very much so. You wanna play with this? Um, they do hurt. Um, <sighs> Shelby has only bitten a few times and they have all been times where we could have seen it coming. So it is about learning, learning their body language, learning what mood they're in, understanding when they're being pushed too far. And there have been a couple of occasions where we've kind of pushed her a little bit too far, uh, especially with flying the other day. We were trying to encourage her to fly a little bit more because we were all excited and she was doing a massive big, she did a massive big, um, okay, I can't need the... Baby macaws, why would you, why would you try to film with a baby macaw? This could be like a four billion hour long video. I don't understand why you can't just stay there. Um, yeah, so I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> we were trying to get her to fly. We were, she'd just done a really good long, one minute long free flight and we wanted her to fly a little bit more because lots of people were gathering and they kind of wanted to see it. And so we tried to encourage her and she didn't want to. And she bit me really hard on her thumb. Oh, I don't like it when you're on my hair. Should have done toys first, really. What can you play with? Oh, girl. Hang out there for a bit. The next question is, where did you buy your macaw? And that is from Lickith, yours. I'm probably going to give up with the usernames in a minute. Um, we got our macaw from a really reputable breeder where in the UK and he is a specialist in breeding macaws. Um, he is also uh, very strongly into conserving the species itself from decline in the wild. So it was really important to us that it was someone that was had the same ethics as us and beliefs and someone who genuinely cares about the breed itself. Another question here is why are you so cute? 
I'm guessing that was aimed at Shelby, who knows, but it was extremely distracting. Along that route, someone else said, can I tell you how much I love you and Shelby? Which is so sweet, thank you so much. <laughs> someone from Spain has asked, can you just buy macaws or can you adopt them? Um, you can do both, as far as I'm aware. In most countries, there will be an option to buy and or adopt a macaw. Um, I was, I am always sort of, I err on the side of adoption is better than shopping. However, when it comes to birds, you need extreme knowledge, education and experience with adopting birds because they can have really severe behavioural problems that are really, really difficult to reverse. Um, obviously, I have no experience with birds at all. Um, and so we decided to get our first one from a baby. But going forward with the experience I now have, with the understanding I now have, with the research I've done and having owned Shelby and trained her, I would now, from now on, adopt. Petra over on Instagram has asked, will we be making more Shelby merch? That was really difficult to out. Um, I have this top which says parrots are spirit animals and I make them myself and sell them on my Etsy store. So if you purchase one of these, they are made by me and um, yeah, you may find a little feather inside your package. Um, however, uh, yes, in answer to your question, we will be making some more um, Shelby merch, but we are undecided as to what yet because I would quite like to make it myself for as long as I can before having to bring in external support. Someone's asked that they want to free fly their Alexandrine parrot and what advice would I give them? The very first advice I would always give someone is to build your bond with your parrot, really work on creating a really good, strong, loving bond between you and your bird. I think that's the most important thing, that the bird feels like it's part of a flock, that it feels like you are part of its flock um, and you work on that relationship over quite a long period of time. It's easier with a baby because they're quite easily made to feel like they're part of a flock because whoever they're with as a baby, they just assume is their flock. Oh! <laughs> what happened, Baba? I'm sorry. Um, but when it comes to an older bird, I would work on bonding and the best way to bond is to train. And that includes all sorts of training, not just free flight training. That includes training how to wave, training how to shake your hands, training how to sew the wings, spin, recall. All of those sorts of things are training. And then as you work on the recall training, um, do it within the home. And then if you can, get your bird outside to desensitise them, get them used to loud noises, different types of weather, transport, aeroplanes, birds of prey, that sort of thing. Um, all of those things will work towards being able to fly your bird freely outside. Um, it's also important that the parrot's on the right diet, so ensure that that is something you have in place. Emma on Instagram has asked, what sort of things are good for enrichment for your parrot rather than toys? Um, and I would just say any foraging opportunity, so not necessarily toys, you have um, kebab sticks, foraging wheels, um, where they can forage food out of the wheel and turn it. Any sort of mind games as well, so um, things like dropping a ball into a hoop. Oh my God! I'm so sorry darling tricks any sort of trick training any training like as it is just training shaking of the hand like I said a minute ago shaking of the hand wings wave all of those sorts of things are enriching for your bird as well um but also things like desensitization so spending some time outdoors and of course giving your bird the opportunity to just to destroy things because as counterintuitive as that sounds, it's actually what they need to do and it is extremely enriching for them. So that's it for the Q&A um, over on Instagram. Thank you so much for those of you who did pop in your questions. It's very much appreciated and I enjoyed answering your questions very much. But now we're going to move on to the exciting bit and unbox this huge box of parrot toys, um, which we purchased from Northern Parrots. Northern Parrots are brilliant for parrot toys and basically any parrot paraphernalia. paraphernalia. Um, so we're going to see what we've got in here because obviously I can never remember what I buy. I end up buying so much that I can just never remember. So, see if I can move this without you toppling over. You won't go too near to the end, darling. Um, it's really big. Huge. So we've got a lot of stuff in here. Ooh. So first off, at the very top of our box, we have this little pack of, I think it's like a freebie. It says Nutriberries Complete Premium Bird Food. 
Amiga 3 and 6 balanced. I think it's just like a, a ball of nuts and seeds. So I suppose we could give one to Shelby now because she's been good. And she needs something to concentrate on. Is that food bags? I bet that's better than the toy you're holding. Yeah, let's drop that toy. <laughs> that's cool. So that was free. And then obviously we've got an invoice and then we have a Northern Parrots brochure. I should have actually ticked not to receive this because I've already got one. But I do love the magazines because I love going through them and choosing things that I can spend all my money on. Why well, my printer has decided to go off right now. Oh, sorry, darling. Mm. So let's get straight to this good stuff. First off in here is a pencil. Now, the reason I got one of these is because she is obsessed with pencils and she keeps trying to destroy them and she keeps trying to rip the lead off them. So I bought quite a few of these. I think there's three in here somewhere. But these are foot toys, so she really enjoys things that she can use her feet with and hold with her feet. Um, so I got a few of these pencils, which is fun. She's not going to be interested in playing with any of these while she's got a treat in her mouth. Oh, on top of that, I also got these, uh, a pack of three pencils as well. I didn't see these until way after, but these look super cool. Um, obviously, there's not actual lead in there. Did you drop it? Dear, you want this instead? Yeah. Next up. Oh, this is cool. So, the next thing I bought was this. Um, it's basically a trick training toy. Oh, and you get your parrot to take the shape and pop it over the end there and you treat them for it. So basically it helps with their coordination and it's a good bonding thing and also it's good party trick, isn't it? I got a pack of these Chinese finger pull things because they, I bought a, um, I bought a thing from Northern Parrots recently. It was like a, it looked like a popcorn box full of stuff, full of things. And I think there were some of these in it and she absolutely loved them. Um, and we kept, because she'd take them out, play with them, drop them, and we kept putting them back in because she really enjoyed them. So I thought, well, why don't we just get a whole pot of them just as individual things. Again, as another foot toy, because um, I really wanted to get her holding and playing with things like she is now, because she actually really enjoys doing that. As I said, a few more of these pencil things in here. Oh, so here is another foot toy. This is like a fuzzy, I don't know, I suppose that's like wood shavings. Um, and it's got some... I don't know what these are, like paper straws and some beads there. Another foot toy, something for her to really just dig and pick at and play with. I have a feeling she will really enjoy that, but she's actually really loving the pencil right now. Another foot toy. This is exactly the same as the last thing, really. Just star themed, I guess. Um, beads and wood and paper and all sorts of stuff for her to make a nice big mess with. Uh, what have we got next? Oh, so this looks quite funky. This is a pacifier toy and the reason I really like the look of it was she gets to, it's like a mine, like a mine ball and she gets to pick these dummies out of the, the ball in the middle and I thought she would quite enjoy that. So I think she would quite enjoy this, it's quite hard to pull them out, are you meant to pull them out? I don't know if you're actually meant to be able to pull them out but... I just thought it looked really cool. I'm sure she will find a way of cleaning them out herself. What's this, Bob? <laughs> Is that fun? Do you like it? Next in here. So Shelby really likes strings and ropes and things like that. So here we have some wool here, uh, and it's been sort of threaded through a wooden block. It's a bit simple, but it's a preening toy. So it's something that she can preen and play with. Oh, that is so soft. Oh, I love that. So yeah, I think she'll really, really like this one. She'll enjoy playing with the, um, let it go, Bob. She's already had a good go of this. Oh dear, we're not having good luck with this perch, are we? Next up, we have some of these coconut husks, I think they're called. Um. They are just bits of dried coconut shell, I think. And I just thought these were pretty cool for her to just hold and destroy. And obviously completely natural. Oh, wow, look at the size of that. That did not look like it was gonna be that big on the computer when I was buying it. 
But this is a woven wonders toy, ideal for pet bears to play to and shred. With some of our toys, you can even hide your pet's favourite treats in them to encourage them to forage. Cool. So this, oh, these smell amazing because they're all natural. But it's sort of like a pinata thing. I guess you can pull out the different colours uh, of wood and cardboard and whatever else is in here. There's like nutshells up here. Um, and it can all be attached to like the roof of her aviary or her cage. And yeah, that looks that looks like she would have a, a ball doing that. So I'm actually looking forward to using this one. Oh, what's this one then? I don't remember bearing this. So this one looks like a bit of a, um, it's got some wood pieces and they seem to slot into these holes here. And um, you kind of pull them out. I think this is like a use your mind toy thing again. Oh dear. Um, so you, you kind of, I guess you could hide little treats inside these things, pop them in there. She would have to pull them out and find them. Maybe some don't have treats in, some do, you never know, who knows. Um, but that looks like something that would keep her a bit occupied and she would enjoy for a little while. Um, maybe whilst we're cooking dinner because that is the time when she's most annoying. Oh, this looks colourful. This is a dingly dangly ropes wood colours thing beads and all sorts she actually really likes these beads she likes breaking them in half she snaps them in half in like one little bite um but this is the sort of thing she would actually really love to have in her cage so that she could destroy it when she spends time in there um so yeah that's pretty cool she will love that I do apologize if the sun keeps like in out in out over our face but I don't really have a pro setup so there we go so this is a it's kind of the same as the last one, but it's got wooden blocks on it and less like fuzzy bits of rope. Um, but we've got the beads here that she loves. That's the reason I bought this one actually, because it has all the beads down it, because she really loves the beads. And these wooden blocks, she actually really enjoys these wooden blocks. Do you want to play with this one? Ooh, you like this one. See how quickly she destroys these beads. See, straight away one off. You already got one off. If you ever wondered why it's so expensive keeping a parrot, it's because of this. Like, I've just picked this toy out of the box and already she's started destroying it. And it probably won't last very long. So, and this is like, I don't know how much this was. This one was probably about £12 and that's £12 just gone. Oh, next up we have another large toy. The second bead gone. So this has, oh, it has loads of tissue paper on it and stuff. Um... And I love the fact that it's got a chain going through the whole thing because once it's finished with, you can keep the chain down the middle. Um, but this has got wood. It's got this natural... I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know. I can't think. Is it like a sponge or something? Um, but she really, really loves this. And um, there's a bit of a closer view of it. But it's got tissue paper there, the corrugated tissue paper, wood, um, this sort of thinner wood, uh, woven wood. And lots of different colours. She's going to really, really enjoy this one very much. I have another one of these pinata type toys. Again, these look awesome. It's got loads of woven wood in it, paper and all sorts. Perfect to stuff little things into to help her forage and learn how to forage. And then the last thing I have in here is this. Now this is a, it's called a Grand Slam Foraging Pocket Parrot Toy. And this is actually two woven baskets and each one is stuffed full of st like stuff and they're stacked one on top of the other and you can hang the whole thing from wherever you want to hang it from. And I have had this before. So we bought this in our last big haul and I hung it from the window. So if anyone follows Shelby on TikTok or Instagram, you might see that she hangs out at the window quite a lot, which is just behind where I'm sitting right now. And we hung this from the window so that she could play with it. And she absolutely loved it. Um, she really, really enjoyed playing with this, uh, especially the little lolly sticks and stuff in it. She completely destroyed the whole thing until it was nothing but the string down the middle. So that tells me it was very good and fun for her and a successful purchase. She has munched her way through the beads on this toy. I don't even know how many she's destroyed now. But this is what she does with them. She halves them. Um, so they all break in half. And she actually really enjoys it. I think before this video is even 
done she could easily work her way through this whole toy um so again another good purchase but that is everything for the toys and um, we did get one more thing because we ran out yesterday and that is the katie exact hand feeding formula for macaws this is what we use to feed to hand feed shelby because obviously she's only five months old so she still gets a hand feed uh she still has hand feed actually twice a day and we get the baby macaw specialist one um for specifically for macaws you can get like a general parrot one but this is for baby macaws um and yeah so this is what she hand feeds with so that is it for our q a and unboxing video we hope you really enjoyed this video we've enjoyed making it shelby is having the best time and the best life right now enjoying those toys um, I'm pretty sure that this entire haul won't last a huge amount of time, which is such a shame in financial terms, but for her, it obviously means she's living her best life. So thank you for joining us. Please consider subscribing to this video and we will catch you in the next one. Bye. Get a parrot, they said.